Chapter 1 India Relief Features Location of India India lies in world map in northern and eastern hemisphere as well as India lies between the latitudes of 37.6 degrees of northern latitude to 8.4 degrees northern latitude India lies between the longitudes of 68.7 eastern longitude to 97.25 eastern longitude IST Indian Standard Time that is also called as Indian Local Time Indian Standard Meridian is 8200 degrees eastern longitude GMT means Greenwich Mean Time it is also called as International Time International Standard Meridian is 0 degrees longitude the time difference between IST and GMT is 5 and 1/2 hours that's why Indian time is 5 and 1/2 hours ahead to London time. It takes 2 hours to sunrise in Gujarat after sunrise in Arunachal Pradesh. The distance from northern point to southern point is 3214 kilometers. The distance from eastern point to western point is 2933 kilometers. tropic of cancer is going through the center of our country geological background india origin from gondwana land major relief divisions of our country the himalayas the indo gangetic plain the peninsular plateau the coastal plains thar desert and the islands now we see the important points from the himalayas Himalaya is formed in the shape of arc. The length of the Himalayas is 2400 km. We have three parallel ranges in Himalayas. Those are Himadri ranges, Himachal or Lesser Himalayas and Shivalik ranges. Himadri are also called as Greater Himalayas. The highest peaks in Himalayas are situated in these Himadri ranges. The average height is about 6100 meters. The Himadri ranges are completely covered with ice and we can find glaciers at Himadri ranges. MSL means mean sea level. Himachal ranges are also called as lesser Himalayas. It has rugged relief and the Pirpanjal, Mahabharat, Dhaulara, Nagtiba are the important ranges at Himachal ranges. It contains famous valleys like Kashmir, Kangra and Kulu. Himachal have famous hill stations like Simla, Mussoori, Nainital, Ranikhet, etc. Himachal are covered by evergreen forest. And the famous Kashmir valley lies between Pirpanjal and Jaskar ranges. Shivalik ranges. Shivaliks are also called as outer Himalayas. These are the southernmost ranges. These ranges are called by different names in different regions. For example, these are called as Jammu Hills in Jammu region, Mishmi Hills in Arunachal Pradesh, and these are called as Kachar Hills in Assam. Dunes, the valleys lying between the Lesser Himalayas and Shivaliks are called as dunes. For example, Kotli Dune, Patli Dune, etc. Purvanchal ranges Himalayas have taken hairpin bend to southward direction eastern part of Himalayas are called as Purvanchal ranges these are composed with sedimentary and sand stones Patkai hills Naga hills Khasi hills Mizo hills are the part of Purvanchal ranges benefits from Himalayas origin of perennial rivers like Indus and Ganga and the formation of fertile plains in indo-gangetic plain it also influences 
the Indian monsoon type of climate and these are protecting from cold winds which are coming from the Central Asia and these are attracting the tourists from various countries and the use for the production of hydel power and we have a great availability of ayurvedic plants in himalayas indo gangatic plain we have a great plain at the foot steps of himalayas that is indo gangatic plain indo gangatic plain formed due to the deposition of perennial rivers of himalayan rivers this is an area with huge fertile alluvial and this area have huge population density also it and it has three parts the western part which is formed by the flowing of indus river and the central part formed by ganga river and the eastern part which is formed due to the flowing of brahmaputra river do ab in arabic language do means to ab means river the fertile land between two rivers is called as do ab we can observe more doabs at indus river jhelum chinab ravi pias satles are the tributaries of indus river by observing the nature of the soil indo gangetic plain further divided into four more parts you can see in this picture those are babar terai bangar and khadar but we have babar and terai only in this lesson babar the plain which is fully covered with pebbles at the foot steps of himalayas is called as babar terai the plain with swampy and marshy region is called as terai peninsular plateau indian plateau is called as peninsular plateau because it has three sides of water it composed of old crystalline hard igneous and metamorphic rocks it has a tilt towards east and the southmost of this peninsular plateau is cape of kanyakumari the peninsular plateau further divided into three parts those are malwa plateau or central highlands deccan plateau and chota nagpur plateau and the narmada river is dividing the peninsular plateau into two major parts those are deccan plateau and malwa plateau important mountain ranges surrounding deccan plateau vindhya ranges satpura ranges western ghats eastern ghats and nilagiri hills nilagiri hills and western ghats joins at gudaluru village the highest peak in south india and also in nannamalai hills is anaimudi the highest peak in nilagiri hills is dodabetta and the highest peak in eastern ghats is aromakonda The highest peak in the world and the highest peak in Himalayas is Mount Everest and it is situated in Nepal. And we have a little bit controversy in highest peak in India. Actually highest peak in India is Mount K2 but it is situated in Pak occupied Kashmir. After the K2 the highest peak is Kanchenjunga that is situated in sikkim and the famous hill station ooty is also called as udagamandalam and it is situated in nilagiri hills the thar desert thar desert form in the northwest direction of india and this thar desert is located at the leeward side of aravalli hills important points of thar desert the annual average rainfall of thar desert is 100 to 150 mm only and it has arid climate 
and the only one river which flows in Thar Desert is Loni River. And Loni River has internal drainage system. Coastal Plains We have two parts of coastal plains, Eastern Coastal Plain and the Western Coastal Plain. And total coastal states are nine. Gujarat, Maharashtra, Goa, Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha and West Bengal. And the coastal names of coastal states are as follows. The coastal name of Maharashtra and Goa is Konkan Coast. Karnataka, Kenara Coast, Kerala, Malabar Coast, Tamil Nadu, Koramandal Coast, Andhra Pradesh, Sarkar Coast, Odisha, Utkal Coast. We have three major lakes in eastern coastal plain. You can observe those in Indian map. First one is Koleru Lake, which is situated in between the two rivers like Krishna and Godavari rivers. And one more lake is Pulikat Lake, which is formed by the salt water. The Indian islands. We have two groups of islands. First one is Andaman and Nicobar Islands, located in Bay of Bengal, east side. Uh, these are the elevated portion of submerged mountain parts running from the mountain Arkan Yoma. Bar, Baren and Narkondam Islands are volcanic origin and the Indira Point is southmost point of India. And the Lakshadweep Islands located in west side in Arabian Sea. These are the coral origin. The total geographic area of these islands is 32 square kilometers. These are famous for a great great variety of flora and fauna. All the teachers and the students, thank you everyone. Please subscribe my channel for more further videos. Thank you, thank you one and all.